bracing with Rashid Wallace. He threw, as soon as he claimed the rebound and released it, put both fists in the air. He knew it was history. Nine seconds left, and the Tar Heels with a six-point lead. And Harold Dean is fouled out of the basketball game. And what a tournament Harold Dean has had. Harold Dean fouling out, as you mentioned, Dan, 19 points today in a sensational tournament, 22 against Maryland, 18 points and 9 rebounds against Duke yesterday, and coming back with a strong second half for the Cavs. Boy, what a year, in addition to what a tournament. Virginia, with their play in this tournament, Bob, has assured that their year is not over yet. Donald Williams missing, and now a second opportunity. <laughs> Some question about the Carolina substitution. Stackhouse is at the table, but he can't come in right now, says so Frank Scagliano. Pete Smith would like to get his reserves in the ball game. And he will at this opportunity. Coming in will be McGinnis and Calabria, Davis and Landry, Reese, Phelps, Williams go out. And Eric Montrose. Fine floor game by Derek Phelps. Great decision making the entire game. But Eric Montrose, what a force in the middle. Mike Powell all the way. Lays it in. 71-66. McGinnis baseballs it to Pierce Landry. He'll take the shot and hit it. school history. The Tar Heels have won the ACC. And for head coach Dean Smith, career win number 801. And it is his 12th tournament title. We'll have interviews with Terry Kelly. Carolina wins at 73-66. Stay with us. Nine boards and three blocks, and it seemed like every point and every rebound was crucial to the Tar Heel victory. Harold Dean for UVA with 19 points and two assists. Right now, let's go to my colleague Dan Bonner, who's standing by with Derek Phelps. Thank you very much, Bob. We've got Derek Phelps, the senior point guard for the University of North Carolina. And Derek, first of all, congratulations. A fine tournament and a real solid championship game. Um, thanks. I, I thought we did a great job, you know, controlling tempo and I think the, the freshman has definitely picked up this game. And definitely Eric Mancho is down low. I think our inside game and tonight, tonight's game did help us. Well, now, one of the things that you expect a senior point guard to do is make good decisions. And I assume that part of those good decisions are finding guys like Wallace down on the inside. Um, when you're in trouble or getting double teamed, just always look down low for Wallace because he's going to be wide open. And if you throw a tough pass, he'll reach up and get it. And I always look for him when I'm in trouble. And he's always there for me. Now, how do you feel about your team right at the moment? You know, a lot of people with great expectations for North Carolina, you seem to outside observers to be playing maybe as well now as you have all year. What's your impression of that? Um, I think we're playing pretty well. I feel that at this time, we, we're supposed to be playing our best basketball. And going into the NCAA tournament, you have to be coming around and know your personnel and also have great expectations. And we're doing a great job doing that. Well, Derek Phelps, congratulations once again. Thank you for being with us. Let's go to the other side of the floor with Bucky Waters. Thank you, Dan. Jerry Stackhouse. For a freshman, uh, you surely didn't play like a yearling, young man. Yeah, I, I came in and tried to establish myself. I mean, I felt good coming in the tournament. I, mean, I felt like I had a pretty good season coming in, and I thought the team had started playing really well toward the end of the season, so it was really easy for me to kind of fit in during this tournament. Specifically against Virginia, what was the big concern of the Tar Heels? Uh, we know that, that, that they play really good defense. I mean, I think we were, like, really close at... Um, uh, the team defense and we just tried to come in and try to run our offense and make sure we got good shots We knew that they were scrappy and they was going after every loose ball So that was a concern of ours and hopefully that, that, that we could try to contain those guys from the outside shooting the threes Rookie a heck of a tournament. Congratulations on the championship. Thanks. Dan Bonner back to you 
Thank you very much, Bucky. We've got Coach Dean Smith. Coach, congratulations. A real fine effort by your team in this term. I thought it was a great effort by our team and a great comeback, and I felt we were coming back. And uh, I was disappointed uh, only in some things other than the game, but our players I'm very happy with. Eric Montross really performed well inside for you. Big, powerful kid had a great game today. Well, when they're hanging all over him, it's very hard. Uh, I don't see how it, it's a tough game to officiate. I honestly believe it's unbelievably tough. Thanks very much, Coach. Congratulations. Let's go back to Bob Rathman. Okay, thank you, fellas. And uh, we'll talk more about this one in a moment, the freshman impact and what this means for the NCAA tournament when we continue from the Charlotte Coliseum right after these words. Didn't win this title, and you went on to win the national championship. What's the difference in this team? Well, you know, I think, of course, last year we're missing a very key player in Derek Phelps for the championship game. And uh, this year, everybody was really pulling together. I think we come off of a, a season that we really didn't, we had lost a few too many games for our taste, and we wanted to come out and really prove ourselves. Why didn't you cut the nets down this afternoon? I don't want to. <laughs> well, we didn't because we want to come back and do it. And I think, uh, you know, it's a, it's a realistic idea to come down and, in a couple weeks and be here again. But we've got a ways to go, and uh, this tournament is a great step forward for us. To so defend the national championship, you're going to come back here in this building. You're right. There's a lot between now and then. What specific thing do you need to do to get tough enough to come back here and win it again? We need to improve every day on the court and practice and games. Uh, we have to be mentally into it. We just have to grow, continue to grow like we have in the past few weeks. The freshmen, what have they meant to this club in terms of speed, defense? They've done a great job for us. Uh, you know, coming in, it's a tough position for freshmen to be in in a situation like we have. And uh, they've done a remarkable job for us, and we just uh, are very proud of them. All right, four straight national championships in the neighborhood. Go get it done. Thank you very much. Bob Rathburn, back to you. Okay, thank you, Bucky. 73-66, the Tar Heels win.